What is going on guys? Juno Sloth here and welcome to the next episode of our Builder Base Let's Play series. So we are continuing to progress forward. We now have the Guard Post troops and the Air Bombs. Any of you guys that caught my stream a couple of days ago will know that we kind of changed our base design. I did build one myself, which is this base design here, but we had a lot more success when I kind of stole this base design off my good friend Galadon. So we're going to try using it again today and just see how we do with our attacks. So we upgraded our giant to level 5 and we also built the clock tower. So any of you guys that aren't sure on what the clock tower does, it basically speeds up everything within your base. And you can use this every 8 hours. You even get some free gems once you have built it. So let's go ahead and boost up everything within our base, guys. That will mean that the troops will be ready when we come back from our attacks. And let's get into the first one. So checking out this first one, we have the Builder Hall pushed over to the side of the base. No real snipes within this base. There is a building right on the corner there that we can try and take down. I'm just trying to work out here. I'm assuming we have a big bomb over in the area here. If we can push in with archers towards the builder hall. I think I may push in towards the archer tower at the top here. Let's go with giants alongside this. Or do we go with barbarians actually because there's no... Let's go with two giants and all of the rest barbarians. Because we're not going to hit the mega bomb within the top area there where the archer tower is so what we're going to do is take a couple i'm just trying to see if we have any free snipes here as well i don't think we do actually so i'm going to have a couple of archers on each of these areas and then we'll bring in the giants to protect them archers as well bring in the archers there in come the barbarians as well to help with the giants and then really what we're trying to do here is focus the archers in towards the builder hall there as well. So the barbarians continuing to tank and to take down that area. Archer, archers are now onto the builder hall. We're going to get that down, guys, and hopefully get the 50%. So we do get the two star there for this opening attack. Going to hopefully clock up a little bit more percentage here. Definitely not going to get the three star. We're just going to run out of archers. But they have done incredibly well. 67% is our final total. And we end up getting the victory. 27% is all that our opponent gets. So the one thing I will give you a bit of advice. If you are attacking this base and you have the bombers. Just open up this area and fly straight into the Builder Hall. But for any attackers that don't have bombers, as you can see in this one, it is a very tricky base in order to get to the Builder Hall and secure the two stars. So moving on to the second attack here. Quite a compact base. Doesn't look like there's very much in the area. Again, it is not the easiest of bases to get any snipes from the we could probably push in from this area if we could take down the the firecrackers there but that's not going to be an easy takedown either because we'd have to take out all of these other buildings i think we're actually going to go with a similar strategy here guys because there's no mega bomb or anything like that on the side of the base here let's go ahead and take out this cannon with a few archers start our funnel and then we can start with the giants here as well, just to protect them archers, because I don't want the archers going down. Barbarians then come in, guys, to try and create this funnel. We can push the rest of them in, and then I'm really trying to target the rest of the archers in towards the builder hall there. So there was a bomb went off, very devastating for the barbarians. The crusher is also going to do a lot of damage to them once they get through this builder hall but really we are pushing for the two star here guys so we are going to be able to take down the crusher here not sure that we have enough archers in order to take this archer tower down though we do have quite a few of them but i think they're just going to slowly get picked off by the archer tower here and we're not going to get the three star but at 86 percent it's definitely going to be tough for our opponent to be able to take us down 
So 86% coming back to the base. We do get the victory again. 35% is the score from our opponent. So let's check it out. He does fall straight into the trap. You can see bringing the Giants in at the top, they are brought all of the way around the base here just because of how it's set up. A little bit of a push trap troll there in order to fling the Giants onto the base and then into that spring trap. Completely lost both of them Giants. The Barbarians don't get anywhere and even if they get through these defenses, the Crusher is going to be there to finish them off. The Archers do actually get onto the Builder Hall there, but then they don't get very far from there. So a great victory there. Let's move on to the, well, let's hope it's the final battle and we get the victory on this one as well. Again, this base, there are no real snipes. We can take the army camp at the bottom here, but other than that, there's nothing we can really take. And this base is a little bit more tricky in that if there were a mega bomb in this area, it could potentially do a lot of damage to our giants. So coming from this area at the top here, we would be flung straight into the crusher. Just trying to work out where I want to come from here, guys. I really didn't, I'm not sure whether we want to take two sets of giants or whether we do want to risk having the barbarians. I think we could potentially get plenty of them in there. Let's go with the barbarians and just see whether we can get this to work, guys. So I think we can get this one as a snipe. Then I'm going to try and just put a couple of barbarians just to test. There's the mega bomb, guys. I knew I could get that. Just try and make sure that we do get these other buildings down as well. I maybe shouldn't have put that many archers on the outside. But in come the rest of the barbarians trying to target our archers onto that double cannon as fast as possible. Because that is obviously a big threat for our troops. The push trap actually helped our archers there. It pushed more archers into the middle of the base so that we can take this build a hall down however it does mean that we might not get to the 50 percent here guys because they're all stuck in the middle and they are getting taken down quickly so we actually end up with 43 percent and i think that we might end up losing this one we didn't our opponent only got 18 percent so i'm very surprised i thought we might have actually lost that one but it just shows guys that with a solid defensive base you can still go ahead and win battles even though you might not have a particularly strong offense. So again, he kind of wastes all of the archers there, brings in the baby dragons from the top, but against this base design, they are going to go straight down with the air bombs straight in the middle there. So a brilliant, and I think the first time we have had a flawless episode, winning all three attacks right off the bat, the last thing we now have to do is work out what we are spending our money on. So, we upgraded Giants to level 5. We don't quite have enough. I think I'm going to maybe hold back and upgrade the Giants again once we get enough Elixir. In terms of gold, we could upgrade the Crusher. We could upgrade the Archer Tower. Just trying to work out here. I might even go ahead and upgrade the Air Bombs, guys, because as we move forward and we start getting attacked from more Baby Dragons... The air bombs is going to be the defense that will protect you. So let's upgrade that, guys. Once I have enough elixir, we will upgrade the dragon, not the dragons, the giants to level six. And then we will see you in the next Let's Play episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Make sure to drop me a comment, hashtag flawless episode, if you made it right to the end. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. And until next time, peace out, guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.